the trap, welcome, welcome to the trap. Welcome to the trap, welcome, welcome to the trap. Welcome to the trap, welcome, welcome to the trap. Let's go. Zen, trap, zen, trap, zen, trap, zen, trap. Protect your peace, protect your end. Thank you. Thank you. Um, life, life's good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, nah, it's cool. Uh, just feel real adultish, just doing the same stuff. Uh, trying to appreciate it for what it is, trying to find better ways to do things, but just really doing a lot of the same stuff to get into a groove so that I can just hold some pieces together because it's like. <sighs> You get into a groove because you know you're going to get off track at some point. So you want to get into a good enough track so that you don't fall all the way off track when you do fall off track. Yeah, you're trying to cover some ground while you got to get momentum going. Yeah, trying to keep the momentum. How about you? Good. I feel like the year is flying by. I feel like it's already March. Granted, February is short, but jeez, I'm just, I just need to slow down a second. Uh, but other than that, I, f- I feel good. I feel like um, staying optimistic, staying positive, uh, starting to really, you know, try to sink in some of my goals, things I want to get accomplished. That's kind of why I feel like the year is flying because it's like, oh, I got shit to do. I got to get stuff done. The first quarter about to be over. So Yeah, it's different when you got stuff you're trying to do. Time starts to feel like it's flying, moving, moving. It's moving. So that's good. Uh, I think I have had a good. I had a good weekend, so that was good. Like I needed that. Spend time with friends, you know. I got a little buddy that like challenges me, so that was good. Got to see him go into some friendly competition. That's always good for me. <laughs> that is a great way to describe that situation. <laughs> Cause I was there, and I didn't know what you was talking about. <laughs> It's a little friendly competition, so I, I like to to be around people that motivates me, that challenges me to be my best self, a better self. Uh, and I like to be around people who doing shit, getting shit done, um, be impactful. Shout out to Be Impactful. They had their uh, event this weekend, and we were able to go to Houston for that. So Great event. Great event. Super dope to see yeah. uh, your friend curate something like that and just to know the potential it has to grow and get bigger. Yeah, he had people, I mean, you got people flying in uh, from Atlanta, D.C. We drove up from Dallas, like. Just, again, the logistics. I mean, you debating in the background on the logistics. Yeah. Clearly wrong, but it's interesting just knowing all the pieces it takes to get there. And I'm sure some paperwork involved, too. And yeah, absolutely. all the other stuff you're going to have to file and stuff at the end of it. Crazy. Black literature matters. So that's kind of what the event was based off of. Um, so I thought that was just. So dope, and that was just good to see. Like, I got motivated from that. Yeah, for hopefully sure. I have my book ready for the next one. Hey, that's a good, that's a good one. You ready to see my table? Yeah. Hey, oh. I right, tell me about your book. Like, what you gonna say? What's your intro for, like, your book? I don't have, I mean, I need to finish a book first before I have the intro. I mean, you kind of already got the concept, right? Yeah, I got the concept, but it could change. I, okay. I feel like it could, it oh, could get. Oh, it's potentially changing. No, I just leave room for it, too. Okay, I'm you. never I really stuck into, I'm not that rigid on stuff. Like, I could be writing, and then I could be like, oh, I want to make it take this a little turn. But in general, it'll be around uh, relationships. Cool. That's that's going to be great. I it's can't It's going to be wait. something. Something. I definitely, great. I don't need no picture of myself on the cover. I want oh, the book please, to be just on, about be the, the book. Back. Yeah, yeah, I could be a little. Yeah, yeah just a little. Yeah, just a little rectangle on no the back. Know the author or something? Yeah. Or you could put a page in the book. Page in the book with yeah. something on the back. But someone like where for people won't see it on the actual. No, book. I'm cool. I'm cool with even a picture on the back, just in a little rectangle, just yeah. about the author or something, or something in the book, you yeah. know, so you know it's black on. Come on, black on. But uh, come on. Yeah, I want the book to just literally be about the information, not. Yeah, you, you want it to be. Yeah, this ain't a book where I'm describing me. It's not gonna have a lot of real examples of me. It's about yeah. the material. All right, cool. That's what's up. Hey, well, uh, this is a Zen Trap chat. I'm one of your two hosts, Yogi LG. Zen P. 
Uh, we got a pretty good episode for you today. Um, P, you want to tell them what we got? Sure. Um, firstly, let's go ahead and let them know the mission here at the Zen Trap Podcast, which is to inspire and empower people to continuously seek improvement. Not improvement. <laughs> I try to do it on my own. To inspire and empower uh, people to continuously seek internal, internal peace, peace to maximize their personal potential. Same thing. Yeah. Um, but last month, which is rounding out February, really, on the last week, we were all about fitness. January, we were all talking about setting goals, and hopefully nobody's lost any of those goals. And if you did, hopefully you either replaced it or, right. you know, figured out a way revising. to revise in. Hopefully you're still sticking with the goals. This month, all that can lead up into building confidence. All this month, we want to talk about confidence. Absolutely. So how you build it, how you keep it, how you get it. Um, we're reading a book on it. We'll definitely have a ZTP on that. Um, so look out for that. That's on the way. But uh, I'm going to start off with, how, how would you define confidence? Like, if you had to define it. Mm. Confidence, to me, is all internal. It's an internal feeling okay. on how you gauge uh, yourself in whatever aspect that you're talking about. So it's relative to the aspect of the situation as well. So you could be confident in how you look and not confident in how you think or how you learn You could, or vice versa. You could be yeah. confident in um, doing X thing, but not confident in the other X thing. So I think it's just a real internal feeling and gauge on how, uh, I didn't even say prepare because some of the most prepared people can still not be confident. So it ain't even got to do with preparing. It's just an internal feeling engaged. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I looked up the definition earlier, so I'm not going to say that. But <laughs> Say it or just either one. Well, to clarify, the, the Webster definition is like optimistic or optimism and self-assured, which was kind of vague for me. But I, I don't think I would have used those words either. But to me, confidence is just believing. Believing in you, like it's believing that you're capable. It's believing that, uh, that like it's just believing to me. Um, I'm confident in other people's ability at times, um, but ultimately my self confidence comes from me believing in myself. So that's how I would kind of define it. Well said. Yeah. Um, do you have some areas that you're not confident in? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say I'm not confident in, in man, I, where do I start? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm not all the time confident in my ability to, um, how do I say this, man? I don't, cause it's almost like sometimes saying it out loud just like makes you even less confident. So I don't even want to say that some of it, but, um, just throw yeah at the end. <laughs> just say like I'm not confident in my ability to do blank yet okay cool um I think I'm not confident in my ability to like be a good partner yet um interesting I, you went the heat for the first one okay I mean these are because I mean most of the stuff the surface stuff I, I'm confident in um okay do, do you want to dive into that a little bit I guess what aspect do you mean by a, a Zen good Zen podcast? I gotta you know maximize my personal you potential. You still could be personal <laughs> show business. Yeah, that's true. What What do you define as a good partner, and what do you not feel confident in yet that yet yeah. you and your ability to be that good partner? Um, I think sometimes I and I want to throw out there as well. This weekend, literally four people. And asked at the table who was like the best partner. All said you immediately, <laughs> no hesitation. When um, during that. one of them conversations, uh, it was like, "Who's the best?" No, it was the best friend, like good friend or something like that. I thought friend and partner was interchangeable. I'm sorry. Mm, okay, I can see that. You need some of the same stuff, but I don't think so. Okay. I think um, sometimes. I have a very uh, structured mindset on like, this is how things should go. And I am i don't always create a safe space um, to let my partner 
kind of deter from what I think is how it's supposed to go. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, find their way. And so I think I, that's something that I'm catching myself with. It's something that I'm constantly trying to stay on top of. But to me, it, it's like I'm worried about, like, because it, it's almost like ingrained within me. So I'm worried about my ability, like, to be able to long-term sustain, like, being able to let people. And it, and it's not always just in my relationship. I often I struggle with that with my friends, with my family, with everybody. I feel like that's difficult. That would be difficult to define for me because how do you decipher between you being real strict on how you think something's supposed to go versus, I guess, does any of that feel like is, how do you decipher between a boundary that you have versus you being too strict and letting them letting I guess your partner or your friend do something the way you feel like it should like however they choose um <clears throat> I think and do they ever like do they ever is there ever a conflicting thing of those. or like do you ever feel that conflicting like uh I I think the boundaries for me I don't think the boundaries is an issue in a sense where it's like oh, this is a boundary for me. This is why I want you to do it this way. It's more so like, this is just the way I think it should be done. My personal opinion, I have no problem if you handle it a different way, but this is how I think it should be done. And I'm very like strong-willed in that. And so uh, when it's not done that way, it's I get like, I get anxiety about it, which then may cause me to, like, be an asshole and, like, different things. So, I think it's not necessarily a boundary because it's, like, if it's done another way, all right, cool, whatever. But I, I get anxiety about it because I don't feel like that was the right way or that was the best way or that was the way I specifically wanted it done. I don't I don't think that's a boundary, but that's something I can unpack. Um, For sure. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, a little bit. I guess the part about what you do in return, if it's not done the way you thought it should be, mm-hmm. is what is a little shaky to me. But yeah, I mean, there's some other areas I don't have confidence in, um, but that's one of them. What about you? Mm, I don't think about it a lot, honestly. I lack confidence. Probably in being, what's the word? If somebody, friends or family, already has a idea of how I should be, I lack confidence in just maybe doing what I want sometimes in certain situations. Oh, if like I feel speaking like, up for yourself? Like, no, not speaking up for myself. I, okay. I'm fine with speaking up for myself. It's more so I lack confidence in... Uh, doing things that are perceived as bad and everybody thinks I'm supposed to be a good, I'm I'm just a good person. I'm a good. You're you're a good guy. I'm a good guy. Okay. You don't do this. You I don't do that. So I ain't going to say I like, uh, yeah, I feel like I like the confidence to just do weird things sometimes. Or do whatever. Are you saying like that? It's natural to you to want to do these things. But you don't do them or you because like it's deemed as like out of your yeah, character. Sometimes I, sometimes I let culture, uh, I'm not going to say my religion because that's on me. But I let culture define what I'm going to do just because it's easier to fit in. Hmm. Okay. So I lack confidence in wanting to just stand out and just do whatever whatever it is on my mind all the time now i'm not thinking that deeply on it a lot mm-hmm. but i know that it'll be certain situations where i i i just it's just always easier to just fit in sometimes or a lot a lot of times every yeah. time really it's always every easier time. agree all right so what do you feel like you most confident in like what do, what do you feel like oh yeah this is my confidence is very high in this area i'm very confident which I think has helped me tremendously in life. And if I could recommend to anybody, my ability to learn 
So being confident in my ability to learn always keeps me optimistic about other things. So if I am struggling with another area, the confidence in my ability to learn and adapt keeps me being okay and not anxious about it. Like I can figure it out. Yeah, that's that that yeah, if I have that as the baseline, that helps me with any any other kind of, that's kind of why I don't think about it a lot cuz I think if the situation truly arises, I'm I'm confident in my ability to be able yeah. to learn. I would I would say I'm also confident in that and that absolutely and that's something that I think like changes how you it helps with your anxiety, like you said, like it just it helps with so much when you have the ability to feel like I can figure this out. No matter what the situation is, whether it's dealing with relationships, whether it's dealing with work, school, life, friends, food. life, food, what, cooking, what, whatever. I Fixing something, building something, making a way, finances, whatever. I can figure out how to do this. And having that level of confidence, I'm sure, impacts every area of your life. So that's, that's a pretty good one. That's a good one to have confidence in. Yeah, I will. Because, again, I'll even, I like to tie stuff a little bit to sports. In basketball, football, a lot of times I would not try and do the big play type thing or do be the big person, showboaty person, just because I honestly, this is the real reason in my head, but it's really an excuse for me not to stand out and shine, whatever that little Coach Carter joint of, you know, what's your deepest fear? <laughs> the deepest fear is that Bottom I'm inadequate, <laughs> but that I'm capable of beyond all magic. <laughs> um, I felt like I feel it's a lot of people who need that because they don't have a lot of other things going on in their life. Mm. And without that, they don't they don't identify with nothing else in their like ego so is all tied up. Them. That validates them. Like I need to get this amount of shots up. I need to score this amount of points. I need to do this amount of touchdowns. I need to do this amount of X. Or I feel like what am I, I without value. this? I don't I'm have like, any words. <laughs> shoot it, bro. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care that much. Yeah. I like I don't want you I don't want you to feel to blow up and have a hissy fit over this little I don't want you to go home sad. I don't want you to go home go sad. Home happy no matter how I, many points the game's over, you fussing. I don't want I don't want to see all of that. Or I shoot a shot now you, you don't never shoot a shot like that. Why would you We ain't got to have this conversation. What, what are we doing? All like, it ain't even worth it ain't even worth the risk of of that. Why you take the last shot, Paris? And what you getting? <laughs> I feel confident incapable of doing things like that because whether you miss it or make it it's about just having the confidence to be able to do it you get used to it you can keep doing it i know all of that i could dive in that lane but i I, again i feel there's so many people who really need that that i just i'm cool with just yeah, I absolutely Catch agree. Shoot, That's kind of a cool. little bit. It is. I feel that. A little it is. Bit. It can be seen as an excuse. I didn't think so excuse. at first, and then I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah 100%. It can just be seen as an excuse. It can be the short person saying, if I was 6'5", I'd be in the NBA. Thanks. All right, so what do you think the difference is between, like, confidence and, like, being conceited? Conceited is... I'm not even going to say, because I don't want to say you can overbelieve in yourself, really. I don't know. That's a thick line, tricky line for me. Conceited is when, mm, I don't know. All right, Webster says excessively proud. I can see that. Okay, that makes sense. So when you are obsessing, to me, that's when you have a big ego. Like that's the, almost the difference between having confidence and having a big ego, where it tails to the negative side of you're using you're using your confidence to put other people's confidence down. Uh, you trying to make yourself look better. You trying to make yourself stand out. Stand out, and you trying to do it by putting other people down, so not the, just so the to stand out. The difference is really when you bring in pride, when you become prideful. About whatever nah, you accomplish. Like pride. Okay. Overly proud, though. Excessively proud is the definition. So maybe conceited is more so like when you take too much pride in what you've accomplished versus just being optimistic about what you can accomplish. Yeah. Because I was going to say, what's the difference between being conceited and having faith? 
almost. Excessive belief is faith to me. Yeah. Not pride. Okay. Okay. So maybe conceited is you have excessive pride in past accomplishments. Like you can't be conceited about the future, right? Correct. Oof. I don't know. Maybe. You could probably be ex. Ugh, that's like being excessively confident. I don't. I don't think that's a thing. So. That's what I'm saying. That's, I don't, that's maybe, why maybe you can't be conceited like, about the. Fact. Can you be conceited about something in the future? Ah, now when I play it in my that head, that to me is no, like this that's is what confidence I'm in and faith, right? Like, this is what I'm thinking in my head is like. If I'm like, hell yeah, I'm about to kill that shit. Ain't, can't nobody even stop me. I'm about to go out there and get on the court. I'm about to drop 50 on these niggas. Then, like, to me, you might be like, damn, you can see it. Like, I'm the best motherfucker in here. Can't nobody stop me. Where do, where do you draw that line from that to, hey, I'm confident. I'm going to do a good job. I'm going to score. I'm going to pass. I'm going to be good. I believe that this, you know, it's, it's going to be a big game for me. I believe that, like. Those sound the same to me. Kind of. But would you consider one conceited? I think again, conceited from the definition you gave me, taking the time, the yeah. short amount of time to think about it right then is when you're using it in a super vain way to not just build yourself up, but to put other people down. Yeah, which is why I said in my example, like these other things ain't shit. I'm way better than them. They ain't going to be able to stop me. Nobody can hold me. To me, that's putting, like, other people down to make yourself sound better. That's if you're telling them. <laughs> and even if you're telling them sometimes, uh, again, that's I feel like that's Think if you're telling if you them. you had a, a teammate it, in your locker room saying that to you, like, y'all need to get no, the ball every time. If you're telling them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They saying it out loud. So you say oh, if you do that no, in your I'm head. Saying if, you, if you're not telling people that, then that's the ego thing. And yeah, you, I'm saying you're saying that That can help that build confidence. Loud. Yeah, you're saying it out loud. That can come across conceited for sure. Okay. So, yeah, I think you could be conceited about things in the future then. Okay. But uh, I that's a thin line for me. I've had this conversation with multiple people about, like, because some people have called me conceited and – there's not much I don't think I can accomplish. I I just believe that. Just kind of the same, you know, lane as you or vain as you is just, I think I can figure out how to do pretty much anything on this earth. Like, uh, one of my friends, he said his mom say all the time, like, don't nobody got two heads. They ain't got two brains. So that's the only people that's like can be smarter than you. or can, You know what I'm saying? Can do Like, it's somebody who got... You got the same brain as everybody else. It's just how you use it and your work ethic and all this other stuff. So I just, I've often tried to tr make sure I draw that line to not be conceited, but to be confident. Um, I don't want to be excessively pri prideful or proud to where it's just like, oh, D, but I do want to, because I don't try to put what, nobody can else you, down. Can you be conceited about your kids? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Is that a bad thing? <laughs> I'm not going to define that as bad or good mm. But You can be conceited about your kids And I meet people who are And I be like okay Hey <laughs> <laughs> That little Danny doing some shit That you think anybody else did Whatever So would you From what you said The thing you're most confident about Is your ability to learn as well Um Yeah probably I would say like I Learn is it's you phrased it absolutely correct, but I probably would have said I think I had ability to to figure out how to do anything. I can accomplish anything. Um, yeah. I also have very high confidence in my ability to learn how to cook things. Like if I see it, I feel like I can cook it, like I can recreate it. Ooh, devil's advocate. Can your confidence turn into what holds you back? Almost what I was talking about. Can your confidence turn into an excuse? Yes, maybe. I don't know. Even what, like what I just said, I'm confident that I can learn how to do anything. Take the last shot and do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't do it. I think your confidence is not directly connected to you not doing it. To me, you not doing it is actually an insecurity.
Explain some more. Because, again, what right, I'm saying so is, like, can your confidence, like, be an excuse? Like, you lean on, I'm able to accomplish anything I want. I just don't. <laughs> to me, that's, that's, there's, those don't direct, that was, there's something in the middle of that that's causing you to be like, I don't. And that, to me, is a layer that has to be pulled back. Yes, I have the confidence to, like, I think I can accomplish anything, which means I think I could be a good partner. But there's something in the middle of me being a good partner and the insecurity I have with accomplishing that that doesn't directly, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think that's related to my confidence. Okay. I think there's something in the middle of that that that's like a breakdown of, like, honestly, I am scared that a relationship won't work, that I really want to work, and that causes me to feel like I'm not going to be a good partner. And I reserve, like, you know what I'm saying? So I think there's something maybe it's, and maybe it's not missing a shot. Maybe it's how you're going to feel if you get all the fame or if, how you're going to feel if you get all the praises and other people don't, or how you're going to feel when you're at home. I think about that often about, I would struggle more. I struggle more with the fear of, accomplishing everything, having everything, having all these different skills, and then losing it. Like Accomplishing a lot of money, a big and then j- the fall. job. A rise and a fall? A rise and a fall. Mm. I, I have a, a, not a fear. I have anxiety about those types of things, which I guess I don't really anymore these days, but that's something I used to struggle with a lot in the mm. past of getting – to where I want to be having everything and then having it all taken away from my actions. Not something that was outside of my control, something that was inside of my control and well, messing it up. Tell me, I, I know about it. What you mean? It's interesting. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can identify with that. Okay. For sure. I thought she was like, like I did that. Like, no, what? No, no. <laughs> I mean, I kind of did, but not all the way. You didn't. You didn't. <laughs> all right, so kind of based off... Uh, something you said earlier that made me think about this is how do you feel like confidence and faith are related? Like, do you feel like your faith in God, the universe, whatever you serve, um, or whatever you believe in is a part of why you have confidence or allows you to be confident? I feel like they should be related, but they aren't to me. Tell me why. I feel I can be and am confident in a lot of different areas or aspects. But even without confidence, I can have faith that everything's going to work out how it's supposed to. So I could be not confident about if I'm giving, I guess, an example. If I wasn't confident about how I look or my ability to do a certain skill, I could think like, man, it's going to be tough for me to find a a partner or it's going to be tough for me to find a job, but I have faith that I am. I have faith that it's all going to work out how it's supposed to. I'm going to find the person that I need to, and it has nothing to do with how confident or the lack of confidence I have because I can do it and not be confident in it. I can still go out there and do it. I cannot be comfortable, not be confident. I could be anxious, dripping with sweat, depressed, and it can still happen. That's true. That's how I feel. Okay. What about you? Well, I think, I mean, I think now that you say that, I can agree with that, but I also, I feel like it's it's linked, right? A lot of my confidence or the reason I have the level of confidence I do is because I have faith. And it, it, it allows for my confidence to rise. Like I agree with that, too. Yeah. I agree with that too. I'm just saying. I guess I gave an example to, to say it don't have to be, have but to I be. do believe. Okay. Some of my confidence is linked in faith that everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm saying that it it is linked in certain areas, but it's not linked overall. Like it doesn't have to be there, and I should, and I still can have faith. Yeah, I mean, because obviously there's people who don't have faith in anything and are confident. So they don't it doesn't always have to to be related but for me it it definitely like is a big foundation to the, my level of confidence like the fact that I know things are going to work out and I'm I have a faith system and belief system that 
surround it surrounds me i know that now i can be even more confident now i just need to affirm and manifest yeah on the other side of it you can be confident and anxious confident in uh, or yeah. let's switch out the word anxious because some people like to switch it out you can be confident and nervous, nervous. confident and excited confident and not feeling normal so the faith linkage to me just makes you grounded it keeps me unanxious and focused on just trying to do my best absolutely i agree with that uh, how would you say you have built confidence or you try to build confidence like what do you what do you do um let's say it's an area where you realize let's say you're embarking about something new a new journey and you realize like damn i'm not really confident in this area how would you go about building that i have seen a lot of videos. I'm watching a lot of TED Talks and all okay. these other self-help stuff. So to me, to build confidence, you need to get comfortable being uncomfortable, building skill sets in the things that you say you want to do because that's the only way you're going to know if you really want to do it. I could have an idea that I really want to be this. I want to be a barber. I go and start cutting hair. I hate it. I do not like being a barber like I thought I would. I just really enjoy seeing, uh, making people feel confident when they finish with their cut and having a small talk or something. So maybe I need to do something else, but I wouldn't know that unless I go out there and try the stuff. So to me, to build your confidence in what whatever it is, you have to put intention, attention, and effort behind what you're trying to, to learn and just be confident with what I told you earlier about adding that yet. I, it's yeah. a lot of stuff I don't know how to do, but yeah. yet, but I am capable of learning. It may take me a little longer than somebody else that I'm trying to compare myself to that's making me all anxious, or it may be a little bit harder for me to digest the information. I may need to learn it in a different way. I may need to hear it multiple times, but I am capable of learning it. as long as you have that then the the skill itself just gonna take time for you to to get it i love the example of the rubik's cube first because yeah. that just always i just love how y'all was tripping so much like makes my day that all y'all could do it because it was levels to it right it was like at first you, Jalon, Damo, I can remember that night when I brought it, had it, I'm mm -hmm. just doing it. I'm now trying to, like, I got bored. I'm trying to teach myself how to do it, we know. And I feel like all three of y'all came on the first level with the same description, like, oh, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Matter of fact, that's why I put a little PowerPoint together. You can <laughs> you can learn yourself. I'm going to start with Lindsay. Show Lindsay. Lindsay, you, you teach Jalon. You can show Jalon. Oh, no, I, I can't. I don't know how to do that. I can't. Then once you learn how to do it with a PowerPoint, now, oh, okay, I can just follow the instructions and do it. Oh, I can't do it without the instructions, though. Yes, you can. I Yes, you can. You yeah. do a little practice. Literally, I think within two weeks, might even been a month max, yeah. all three of us, now we racing how to do it. Like, who could do it the quickest? Yeah, for sure. I think um, one thing I do to build confidence or I recommend is just doing something that you're already good at. And like just doing it like, oh, I'm good at this. Watch yourself do it, whether it's having conversation, whether it's making people laugh, whether it's cooking something, whatever. Seeing yourself in a positive light, accomplish something like it's like, you know, how they say in basketball, like sometimes you just need to see the ball go through the hoop. Yeah. And sometimes in life, you just got to see yourself be successful in one area to kind of get the momentum of like, hey, I'm. I can do this. I'm a good person. I got or whatever it is. Like I can be successful. I can uh, be confident in this area. You just got to see the ball go through the hoop. So that, that basketball example, there are real mental blocks are so real. Kevin yeah. Durant said when he was first coming up, he was getting real frustrated that a lot of his peers were getting better than him way quicker. He was like, I'm putting in the work. I'm doing all the drills. I'm doing everything great in practice, but for some reason, it's not translating on the court and he said he got super frustrated and then when he went to this park he found out oh these people are, just have confidence and he said once he got confidence he said it was over for these niggas <laughs> it's over, it's over. These niggas. It's over. Yeah. i think the mental block like ben simmons clearly is going through 
And that can happen even after you've demonstrated that you're a good player, you're a great player, you're in the NBA, you you were killing all star, and now you not taking shots that you usually would take. You not you not doing the the thing like that you've been practicing. Media, like but, mental so blocks. Mental blocks are real. And they can last for a very long time. You can let uh pity and shame and so many other words that can literally just put you in like a sunken place of thinking you can't accomplish things and that's kind of what to me yeah like maintaining confidence throughout wherever you're at in life is so important so you don't let moments like you recognize that moments like that are just moments they also will pass you're gonna go up and down through things but maintaining confidence through all of it like hey i'm gonna get through this i can do this uh it's something that i i really found that is beneficial for my life for sure. the sinusoidal wave of life Yep. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> All right, yeah, man. You got anything else with people? What does that mean? Oh, I mean, you know the sign you saw you the way it looked like. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, ebb and flow, ups and downs. Oh, okay. Just a big way to say it. Got it. Um, uh, like Yogi LG said, we got a book that we're going to be doing later in the month on confidence. Um, we definitely need to talk back about our goals probably on the next in trap chat, give you updates on that. Um, I'm very interested in how this book is going to go, what it says about building confidence. So look yeah. forward to that Absolutely. GTP and just, uh, again, if you are lacking confidence in whatever area, uh, I, from not knowing what is going to be in this book, I think you need to put attention and intention behind it, some actions and, get comfortable with being uncomfortable to to believe that you're capable if you start with believing that you're capable you you, you already on like you are like 75 percent there if you just believe that you're capable you just got to yep. start showing up that's it that's right you got any last words for people? no nah, that's it man i think honestly building confidence is gonna be a good month just confidence in general uh i love my confidence i always have and i want to maintain that um and so we look forward to it. This has been another Zen Trap Chat. I want to get two hosts, Yogi LG. Zen P. If you can't do nothing else, protect your peace. And protect your energy. It's the Zen Trap. We out. Welcome to the trap. Welcome, welcome to the